Good evening and welcome. So it's time for <clears throat> some Dyson Sphere program. I'm always enjoying it. I mean, it's one of those things where every time sort of in the evening when we get close to my stream time, it's always I enjoy it. And when I talk to other people out there in the real world, I go like, oh, this sounds so rough that you have to work every evening. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, I, I feel bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nah, it's um, it's great. I love it. It's my relaxation. It's my rounding off the day in the perfect way by spending some quality time with a good game and a great audience. I hope. Though lately we've been throwing out at one band per stream. So let's see, um, maybe we just get into the habit and then by the end of the stream I go like, ah, oh, I have to ban someone. But maybe we'll try it making an exception today. Uh, let's see. Um, probably make me want to restart every time for being inefficient. Ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's not how it. Um, that's not how it should be. At least it should be inspiring in the sense that go like, oh yeah, I could also do that, or go like, yeah, that's not really how I chose to do it. I mean, whenever I watch someone who is just better at a game than I am, then. I should go like, okay, so what can I learn for next time? And not sort of like, ah, I, I, I don't want to play or it's just, it's the, um, it should be uplifting, inspirational, entertaining, whatever. It should, edutainment. Hello, Rascal. Uh, maybe you'll find time today to answer this. Ariel uh, or FK. What? IRL or FK. Which do you think is more suitable for you? I don't know. I don't understand the question. Is it like which one of the abbreviations I like the most? I don't get it. Are you planning on getting the time achievement? Nope, not anytime soon. I might if I uh, if I run out of things to do or just want to do an extra run or just want to try something maybe in a couple of months with there's some idle time, then you might go like, yeah, let's do a timed run of DSP. No idea. So. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome Which home. world do you prefer, online or the real one? Kind of silly question, isn't it? Abstract site, thank you for those six months. Appreciate it. And Xobi, thank you for the the greeting. And good evening. Welcome. To get another plan less than an hour is pretty fun. The 10 hour is stressful slog. Yeah, that's also kind of what I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, Thosol. Wow, you're late on, uh, on your six months anniversary, aren't you? Good. But good. Six, six, 36 months. Six, 36 months. You've been... Uh, that must have been sitting on your in your pocket for the last two weeks or something. You were here. You were part of the OG. So been been here from the beginning. Are we just starting? We absolutely are. And thank you, Mickey, for the prime. Welcome. Brand new subscriber. Yes, the OG. I mean, it's because of you we have the whoop emote. <laughs> so that's that's because of you. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Yeah, so I I kind of just want to get started on this. If uh, if 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 it's okay with you, yeah. Tested positive yesterday, so I'm at home in quarantine. So DSP sounds like the, just what the doctor ordered. I mean, I'll do what I can. Um, I hope you're not feeling too bad. Ah, uh, man, I've I think that 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 my my negative personality has made it so that i have retained remained negative of all also the last two years like i have i have 40 years experience of being negative and not this little virus is going to change any of that so negative all the way through yeah that's maybe a oh <laughs> i followed i followed someone uh i for the YouTube channel, I was like, oh, that's a that's good critical uh, movie reviews. And yeah, that's good. Oh, okay, I, I like this. I'm going to be okay. So also on Twitter. All right, let me just follow on Twitter. And then it took exactly five minutes. And then it was like anti-vax crap, deeply uh, uh, <clears throat> radically conservative views. I'm like, like, okay, 
I'm just gonna unfollow again and just only watch his uh, gaming related content because oh no, I am not gonna be watching someone spew that garbage. Oh dear. Thank you, a red devil. Thank you for the 500 bits. Just like that. In your YouTube vid, you screwed up electromagnetic coil build. I don't know if it carries over to Twitch vid. I, I've, I, everyone said that, and I've checked it three times, and I can't see what's wrong with it. But maybe you guys, you guys can help me out when we get into the game. And thank you, a bar of soap. Thank you for the fifteen. Whoa, guys, 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 guys. Then that's uh, they, I. Stop it! Stop it! I need to get into the game. We need to actually get sh get shit done. There we go. Did we reach a? I think I can press this one because, yeah. There we go. It's all good. And thank you, Symbol Code Rider, with the loud tapping, tapping uh, five gift subs out there. Thank you very much. <clears throat> See, and AQJ, that's the last of the political talks we'll have now for now, as, as in the next four hours. It was in Sonos on the bottom six assemblers. Okay, let's have a look. And in the meantime, just enjoy the awesomeness. Hey, also, thank you for the five gift subs. Please. I mean, it, it looks all right, and they are they are producing stuff, so I don't just don't see the problem. But then again, I had to rebuild everything for the YouTube episode as well. Oh no 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 no! I I. I built it on YouTube and then I scrapped it More and shall gather. More shall enter. he succeeded. Moon, you're amazing. You succeeded at hitting a hype train. I think you more than once have missed the hype train by just millimeters. Thank you so much for the 50 gift subs. All right, just come on. 51 gift subs and then you take it away from uh, from Moon. Moon has a, uh, a consolation prize out here. The, <laughs> the gas giant. Is uh, is called Moon as a consolation prize. <laughs> I was the first today to join the stream. Ah, perfect. Just want to make sure that you don't miss it. I, I felt so bad about you missing it. All right, let's have a look at this beautiful thing. While wow, this level three hype train. So this hype train is already going to be two planets. So get your uh, planet name in if you want to like overkill plus one. Thank you for the one thousand bits. Steal it away on the bit sides. That is uh, definitely an option. It's definitely easier than uh, dropping 51 gift subs. May need to rename the gas and to moon the first. Well, let's see. All right, so I moved these around. Last time we sort of had them at an right there and some other places. And now I just moved them up here. I built two of these and then I have a single one that I just stamped down, which is basically the same build. But this one just for the crystal things. Uh, I did that off camera so that we could just get it going because I wanted to make sure that we have our hub operational. And I think we have the hub. That's weird. Oh, yeah, that's the, the requesters. Um, you are making something I don't have. And here we have... Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are... If we ever need exchanges, I don't think we need to worry about not having enough exchanges. I'm pretty sure we have enough exchanges. But where are they? Uh, yeah, here. Exchanges. Oops. <laughs> so, yeah. We have enough exchanges for the time being. So, uh, that should not be a problem. 7450 USD. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a... I mean... It's, it must be nice for you that you are in a, in a place where the bits, the subs are cheaper. And George, thank you very much for the 17 months. All right, and we also have this one. This is just to stamp down the one we usually uh, usually use, so no problems here. This is the one we have. Ooh, Swammer with a 1500. Ah, taken away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Piff with fool. Thank you for the five months. Welcome back. Great place so far. So far. I took a less ambitious version of your goals, dropped the 0.5, and just completed the mission recently. Nice, found relying on oil chemistry and no solar sales to be very fun chance. Exactly. Ooh, overkill plus one or plus five thousand more. Thank you so much. Well, what a what a show of force. 
Okay, and I haven't even built anything. I haven't done anything. I feel like I, I haven't done anything to deserve this yet. Well, let's talk a bit about what we're going to do today. Uh, we, Since we have our hub operational, we are going to make sure that we have... Uh, what are you doing? You are... Okay. I want to make sure that I have all of these since they need to be able to do it. I need to have... Here. Um, yeah, they need 10. They don't actually need 10, but I'm going to put 10 in each of these. That one will never need 10. Nope. This one could be needing that. And then this should be our... There you go. And I'm also going to take this. Oh, that's a lot. Wow. A magnanimous dispensation. Oh. Okay. Okay. Gloom enraged. <laughs> Is that gloom enraged? Thank you for the one 10,000 bits. Yeah, are you kidding me? This is... It's insane. <laughs> and Michael come in. Hey, 200 bits. Get on that hype train. Get on. Looks like we are going to have a fair chance to get some irrelevant animals in here. Thank you so much, Gloom and Rage. And the new 10k bit is earned. Have you done the 50 minutes to other systems yet? Yes, I do. But I haven't done the achievement. But what I did was I, I spent... I was... I had like half an hour and then I had to pick up my son. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to set my... My, my uh, drone to fly to the next one. That's 53 minutes. So I lined it up and then I went off to go to wake up my son, came back, went out shopping, came back, and then I had overshot the planet. So I had to turn around and fly 15 minutes back. But then I went like really close and then I took a save and exit. So I haven't gotten it yet, but that means I can just load a save and then I'll, I'll get it there. Okay, what are we missing here? Hey, so, uh, Big Beans, thank you for the 200 bits. Also joining in, good morning to you. Not lunch yet. And Sarai Shadowhopper, thank you very much for also gifting a sub and joining in. Ramstein Co, thank you for the Prime and welcome. And Mac Border, thank you for the 300 bits. And Freak, thank you for the 200 bits. All right. Well, there's 2 minutes and 20 seconds. It looks like it could actually end up being a level 5. Wow, that is ridiculously fast. A kind gesture. There. Good. Alright, so I think that one of the... Hey, PDTR, for the inspiration to the new home planet. Absolutely. A gleaming Thank you, PDTR. All right, 74. I think we can do it. I, I th it could happen. It could be a level five. Either way, it's going to be one minute and 50 and then it's all done. Right. Let's talk a bit about what I want to do. I want to make power. Yes. But we have two options for power. That is, we have the mm, uh, hydrogen based power. We have the normal one, this one, thermal one, which is 2.16 megawatt. Ugh. Or... We have the mini fusion power plant, which is really nice. That's 15 megawatt, but it burns deuterium plant and it requires the carbon nanotubes. So I need to uh, need to get the carbon nanotubes in order to get this. That's a bit sad, actually, because I'd like to get the carbon nanotube and but I don't think I need carbon nanotubes right now for anything. It's not particularly difficult to get carbon nanotubes here. And do we need that for purple science? Yeah, we do. Okay. I think I'm going to build... Oh, okay. Uh, Kroll, thank you for the gift sub. Also joining in on the hype train. Urgelag, 1,000 bits just in time to log in. And Ben Stromberg, thank you for the... Also 200 bits. Hype. All right, 40 seconds left. We're 81%. I don't know. It doesn't matter whether we make it or not. It just feels nice that we can... We can get it. There's no difference. And of course, it's Gloom and Rage with the 10k bits and Moon with the 50 gift subs. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And don't, don't snipe too late, by the way. It's already getting dicey unless you're already clearing your PayPal if you want to join in. Okay. Um, yeah, not a level 5 this time. Almost. But hey, level 4, level 5, still going to be a magnificent... Uh, hype train thank you very much everyone and of course particular to the winners moon and gloom and rage and also honorable mention also goes to overkill plus one got one up 
69 subs. Nice. All right, back to the game. I think that the first thing I want to do is just stamp down a blueprint. Just just do it. Yep, that's the other this way. Always good way to get one up. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Good. I'm, I'm happy that you take it that way. Um, these are just random places, right? Yeah. Let's actually make the perimeter here. Because this perimeter is important. This is basically signifying that anything inside this is reserved for when we need when we get a Dyson sphere and then all of that will be for charging. So another thing that is super amazing about uh, the new proliferator is the additional power consumption. Because this was actually one of the problems previously was that there really wasn't any reason to build gigantic Dyson spheres because nothing really used a lot of power. I mean, you could sort of build some things that used a lot of power, but eh, it was kind of hard to use a terawatt of power. But now I think it's going to be much easier if you start proliferating everything. Which again helps building bigger in and of itself. So when I have a planet, then anything inside this rim is just off limits. Don't build anything there. Why do we have a lack of item? Oh, if only we had a hub that just magically built all the things we wanted. So I could just do this. Oh, that's so nice. So nice. So nice. I, how did I ever live without it? So now I need to figure out Commander Obert. Thank you for the Prime and welcome. Oh, we have a new person joining, finally playing this game for the first time. This update after watching all of your series so far, up to 21.6 signs per minute and can't stop playing. That is, it is such a good game. I know, I know, I know, I know. But when you said it, but where did you buy the lizard doggo from yesterday? Uh, the place that um, I didn't actually say. I, I'll just check what they're called. It's the one that was promoted by... Uh... Okay, so the story is that it's the one that's promoted by the two stooges at uh, Coffee Stain, Snoot and Jace. And they showed it and, and then... Uh, Heroic replicas, that's what it's called, heroic replicas. And they are really high quality. So, uh, and they contact me, heroic replicas contact me and ask, the, want, ask me if they if I wanted some, then they would send me some. And I was like, uh, I don't really want to receive things for free, but I'd like to buy it. So I bought it. And then they sent it faster to me because I bought it. So uh, that's why I got it right now. So that's um, that's how. Um, and I find it to be really good quality. And here, this is this is this is why I want to pay for things instead of getting it for free. Because now, if I got it for free, and you never know if there was an exchange of more than stuff, then I go like, it's really good quality. It's really nice. Then you go like, is it though? But now, hey, I paid sixty nine dollars or some crap like that for it for a plushie, and maybe that's a bit excessive. But that's like taxes and all, and that. But it's it's. Totally worth it. Um, I, for me at least, I like it. Uh, okay, blueprint. Oops. And it can only be proliferated with speed. Oh yes, purple science, purpley purpley. All right. So this is actually just. I could build it here. No, I can't. I could build it here, and I am. Always collide with another object. Oh, right. That's a collide with its. It's not collide with another object. It's colliding with yourself. You bastard. See, that's the one. It 
Here we go. All right. Ta-da. I <laughs> couldn't do it. Well, if you have a planet like this one, then I'm sure you could do it. All right. Well, this is not going to work. And then, of course, it is. But there is actually, luckily, the, the fortuitous event. Yeah, but all of those things are 1800 of stuff. So I'm just going to go here in my secret stash. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then a bonus one. Then uh, what else are we missing? We are missing stuff that's always accessible uh, in here. We're missing how much of this? I don't know, less than that. And what was the other thing? Chemical plants and refineries, right? There. Yeah. All good. I love that you can see through see this through the planet. That looks so cool and it's just absolutely fantastic. Alright. Off you go, little drones. Get busy. I'm going to stand here and then go boop. Leaching some power, please. Yeah, so if I can just stand in here while, <laughs> while building, then it should be building a bit quicker. Yeah, I'll kick here. But it's, it's slowly dissipating because right now it's just it's discovering that I have it anyway. We require additional drones. Well, this is why we get the purple science, because if you go in here and look at upgrades, then uh, more drones requires purple science. And that also requires here purple science. So it's all good. Unfortunately, we are going to have to bring some oil over here, but this blueprint, there's no way I could build this on the second plan. What? Oh, right. It is actually there. Okay. Yeah, it feels so weird, this one. I want to step, get this one to step down just to see what we miss, what we need to get from the first planet in here. Okay, this will be five thousand, and it'll be from the other planet there. Not supply local. Um, this one is going to be residual, so we'll need to get rid of it. This one can be locally sourced. This one, I think I'll also get it like that and this one will be local I'm not going to change the other ones yet yeah with this we are definitely going to need more power All right, the reason why it's it's out of power right now is because this one is just desperately charging up. So it's using all the power that's available. That is why it's it's looking worse than it should. No spray? Oh, shoot. Well, I guess I'm going to have to try and respray it And at this point. Damn. I'm just using my blueprint. Luckily, there seems to be a lot of space in this one. Although not as enough, though. Well, I think the most important thing is let's try building it and then figure out if we can at all spray it somehow. I do think so. I do think it's possible. It would be really nice if this had an extra slot in it, but I don't think it does. I think it might be a problem. Spray and pray. Oh yeah, 12 hour mark. Oh yeah, you get to see the the time of day that I'm recording this. Oh no. <laughs> I love the comments for YouTube like, could you uh, could you just uh, please move the, uh, the the logo so that we can uh, see that it's actually just overlapping. Oh no shit, it's overlapping. Ha. Ah, it's cuz I don't I don't want you to comment on the sequence I'm recording in or what time of day I'm recording in. I think it's really shitty that it's there and Really wish it could be uh, removed. But alas, that is not possible. I 
I might proliferate something, like for example, if I can proliferate the output of this and not the input, then I might just do that, right? Alright, I can't really proliferate. It's also weird that I decided to build this on site here. Seems a bit weird, but I guess the whole point is that this is really self-sufficient and it's getting like base materials inbound. That's the concept of this. Stamp it down and everything that you have is just in. <laughs> kind of know the time already. True, true, true. Hopefully. All right, let's also get a few of these. Let's move over here. And just sit under these to uh, fill up the rest. I'm pretty sure that I'll have to move some of it like further down. But let's let's see. Play dream over the time. Nah. But it, I got a lot of comments on the previous series about the time leaping because, for example, what I did was I built this thing on stream. And then what I did in my YouTube episode, I was like talking about it and stamping down the blueprint and then cutting, basically loading. Now, what I was doing is I was <laughs> taking the save where I had this built. Then I deleted the whole thing, started recording, stamped down the blueprint cut loaded the save before i deleted it and then go like and now i build it and people were like how did it jump 25 minutes back in time by the time you completed the build i go like well because i didn't build it i deleted it <laughs> i just recorded it in reverse order <laughs> but with all the play the the urging for me to do more time lapses then that has become more difficult the power of editing exactly it's much faster to delete than it is to build. <laughs> Through the magic of wishing, exactly. The magic of wishing. Imagine this. Like, high rise. Well, we got that one a few times. I also have to reset. I have to reset my uh, my. Uh, yeah, achievements once in a while, and for that reason, I have started to make save games called Achievement Mineral Field Depleted, Achievement Before Our Time, and then I'm going to make sort of the common one that are kind of annoying to get, then I'm just going to set up a save that gets that one, so that I can reset this, I can reset achievements, then I can go in and just tag those ones that are kind of annoying to get, like falling in water, reaching a planet without, by own using coal, so I can just sort of catch those up. Yeah, so it's it's a lot of save game manipulation, and uh, it's it's all just it's all hopefully coming together. Anyway, let's see. We are going to start from the start. Well, well, well. Um, so hydrogen is not being used for anything. This one is producing light oil. This also serves as a way for us to explain what's going on. Now, uh, this is coming from here. So we do have an option for proliferating here I think like these two are good candidates for proliferation so is this one almost but we can we can make some subtle changes here like that It's the same thing. That allows it to go in here. And here. So that's already the input for this. And then I'm going to need to get the input over here. It's not great that they are like this. 
Okay, then I need to go and then spaghetti away. Then the next part is... This one is proliferated because it got proliferated here. But the other one, the output one, is not proliferated, which means I need another one here. I'm just putting them in where I can see that I can place them. So we know that this is proliferated. What is actually on this belt? Should not have been indicated somewhere. Well, I guess I can deduce it by looking over on this one. Ah, it must be titanium then. So titanium comes in and then... Graphene is being produced. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually building this. Uh, yeah, different directions. Okay. That's okay. They, it doesn't matter which direction. As long, as long as they're kind of the same way. So we have... Uh, this is the output. So this is going to be a problem because I'm now getting the output here. That will be the graphene. So the graphene is not proliferated at this moment. And it doesn't seem like there's room for it unless I start moving this part slightly closer. Which I can. I can. I can make it closer. Um, ah, there's no cut function in this. So take this part. that's fine and this should still have room up there for what and that should also give us more space here I really want to take that but there's no point since it's already proliferated Unless, of course, I don't want to take this one. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, what, what's going on here? This one's going in and around that way. Oh, that's interesting. But that means this one could also go in here and around and go, but that's longer. That's no, no point in doing that. Huh. I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way that I could... Hmm. I don't really think so. I think I have to put one in here, but if I do that, then I also kind of have to put one here. Which means I do not need to put one there. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can we put it? If you can do this. I don't think there's room. Oh, there's just room, perfect. That's much better. Good, so we have one input here. And then that goes in. And we also quickly proliferate this and this, which should be like the easiest thing in the world because it's just coming from that one. Yeah. Truck, you ever worked on making setups for making end products from only raw? No, this is the closest thing I do from only raw. I don't, the, the other thing is like an academic exercise that, I mean, fun and all, but not really getting us anywhere. And here, see, I'm not going to proliferate this part because it's direct insertion, so it doesn't work anyway, but I will do a proliferation on that. 
outbound here. Yes. Just spray above and below the splitter. Above and below the splitter. Where? Where? What? And then we have from this one, I am getting non-proliferated silicon in here. Technically, this will be proliferated now. And then it'll go out here and go into this one where there's just not enough room. Yeah, uh, I think I need to make room here. Could I do that? Pretty sure these can be placed other over here instead. That one and that one will give us the same. Pretty much. I wonder if that works. It might. Oh I just I felt it. I felt it. It was like so close. Pretty clear as well that uh, let's see this one is what that's already proliferated and that one is already proliferated so I think I need to move the whole thing here oops oh crap I can't remember what this one was uh, I wonder what it was this is what coming in this is nanotubes. Okay, so nanotubes are coming in here. And nanotubes are going out there, maybe? But they are also splitting. Okay, this one is crystals through. That's not it. This one's just a split of carbon nanotubes. This one is basically just functioning as a merger. No, a splitter of what? Carbon nanotubes go in and proceed. Yes. Is that correct? These are both inbounds, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's correct. And this is just splitting. This is that one. This is splitting, and this is the carbon nanotubes, which means I get carbon nanotubes, and I get the diamond coming in there and there. Carbon nanotubes are outside there and also outside. That means the last one I'm missing is coming. Hmm. This is the outbound. Where are they? Oh, it's here. It's here. This part. Because that comes out here. This is. What was the last thing? Plastic. So plastic comes on the outside belt and goes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why did I do this? Uh, I did this because I think that I could move the whole thing one over. Everything for one tile. And then this one. <sighs> what am I not getting? 
No, 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 this one actually doesn't need to be... This is just a split. The one, two, three. And that should now give us exactly what we wanted. Woo -hoo -hoo, that took a while. And all we need now is some power lines. Okay. I'm confused about your tech level now. So that is going to affect what? Tricor is what are we talking about? Oh right, okay, you're you're helping someone else. It's not my tech level you're confused about. One solar isn't connected. Yeah, it's correct because there. And this is then here going in, splitting out, but then the output is not. Ah, the output is not working. No. Shoot. Ah oh, man. Oh right, that was actually exactly what I wanted. Yeah 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 yeah. Because I can do, and this is weird. This is going to be really weird. I can proliferate this part. It's 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 odd, but I can do it. Because then it'll go in here, and yes, it kind of sucks that I'm that. But then I can do. That's not working, is it? Okay, it is. How did that not work? Well, that's not great. Can't have something that can't be blueprinted. I guess we still have that problem in this game. Why is it extra space here? Ah. It's supposed to be here, so it's actually slightly off. And then the question is can I proliferate the output of this? Highly doubt it, because that needs to be. There and there. Actually, not the other way. It might be possible. Crystals. Hello, Notonius. Maybe demand the proliferation thingy already. So they are there already. No, 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 not yet. That, I'm, I'm not in any kind of hurry to, uh, to do this. Oh, that's not correct. It's not like I'm gonna be like, oh, I need to go faster. Must go faster. Yeah, this doesn't work. It's 
So that means this is now proliferated on the outside and then it's proliferated on the inbound here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, somehow power. Perfect. And we now have all three, one, two, three inbounds for this part. And then the final ingredients uh, this will actually be the outbound of the purple science is coming out on the outer belt and the input coming here that's yeah I think it's this is it just so that you don't do not go I should have gotten those first later oh right 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 yeah yeah that I mean it's a good point it's a good point but it's not really relevant, I think. So it's really tempting to float this one over and then go in so that I can also proliferate on the other ones. But it doesn't matter. It's not going to make any change at all. So now I need to figure out how to do the proliferation here. I don't like this spot. But I don't have any other spots because it's kind of... That one's kind of out. Yeah. Proof the particle broadband before the science. Oh yeah, I didn't do that. That's a good point. That is just one more. Uh, that just I. This is totally possible, right? You go here, and then... Part of the broadband comes out. This one is just a... I think I have to do this to remove that filter. This is again particle broadband coming out. Going through. What? So difficult to see what's in and out. That is okay, this is actually incorrect. It has to be there, obviously. Yep. And this is a bit easier. Will science out? <laughs> that would be too easy. Now I can uh, confidently say that it doesn't take any more floor space than the previous one. Like these two? They're not great actually. I think that it's it would probably be better to take them out here. Then I have to decide on what side things are coming in and out because I already have something there. And the question is whether that's looping back to this one. Oh, no, 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 maybe not. Uh, I got an idea. Tap. And 
and then You go in, and then at the top floor. No, at the top floor, please. Ah, how do I how do I illustrate that I want it at the top floor? There we go. Uh huh. But then also at the top floor, we do that. Ah, look at that. Fancy. I think I think it's fancy. And then where is the next proliferation location? There and there. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. I can do that, right? Is that okay that I do this? I don't know. And that was Vusaranto. Thank you for the 29 months. Here. I like to have things at level whenever I can. It's it's really hard not to do that, right? That takes this one out. And then the only one left is the return material uh, also here. So we do still need to find a way to get from... Oh dear, the spaghetti is, is real. Oh no. There. Good. Tales of hey, Riculum. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Or gifted six in total. So that's uh, a new burst of gifting. I think I could draw it closer, but I can't really. Thank you. To what do we owe the honor of the uh, generosity there? I don't really. I really don't like that. Yeah. I don't like. What if I did here instead? Oh. Ah, that makes more sense. That's... I don't know. I feel more gentle. So it goes here, goes around, and goes back. It just feels like I could so easily get it somewhere else as well. Next favorite game. Ah, nice. I just bumped th things all over. Well, you can also see that I, I built quite slowly and I, I'm very meticulous about it. Then I move things by one tile and I test things and I go like, eh, does it feel right? So, all right. So that's that thing. Now we need to go to the first part. So here we need this proliferated, and that is... The graphene coming in. 
Getting there. What else? Plastic is here. Um, and then these two. And these two. Oof. They are not great. Well, these are great, but then... Yeah. I'm just wondering if we could do something better with this. Unfortunately. This one cannot be placed right in the middle. That would be so lovely. We could just go up and then just split it directly into these two. But they do actually, it does take a bit more space. So, But that being said, I can ignore this one. Because this one could also be built like here, for example. So it's aligned with this. But that one is less obvious. Because it's exactly on the same path. If it was... If... Hold on. If it was like this. I could go from here and then turn it at that point. What? Oh, that's totally not what I wanted. I don't like this one, but it's kind of the only place I can build it, isn't it? Kind of feels like it do... Oops. That there has to be a splitter. And I can't do a splitter on this line. But this would also be great. And then I could take it over. Just branch it down there. Maybe I just... Get it one further out, and then go here. <clears throat> Is it possible to make a splitter? I actually need... Yeah, but that goes down in the lower level. That I don't want that. I don't want that. I can build these on top of each other, but that's a different height. Weird. I need to elevate it by one. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I just do this part. And then go one, two, three. Oh yes. That is way more likely to be correct. I want to see if I can complete this before my break. That's why I'm... A magnanimous dispensation. Oh, wow. I, Gilmer, the way to distract me. <laughs> ah, distraction. Thank you so much for that magnanimous dispensation. Wow, thanks for all the content. Well, th thank you. I'd, I'd happily uh, keep churning it out. Well, I'm going to keep churning it out anyway. Wow, wow, that's that. that I don't know. You have been super generous today. Uh, why is it? Thank you so much. Uh, do you. Are you in chat? I mean. There. I'm gonna have to delete this and go through. And then through.
Is this necessary? No? Not if I have that one. I think it actually is done. I'm not proliferating the oil coming out. Should I? Well, it's one product that could potentially actually give us quite a lot. So yeah, I think it should. Let's see. There you go. Just for a sec. I'm back to my vodka game to start from the beginning. Oh no. Thank you so much. I yeah, that's that's something I just never read. Oh, by the way, uh, all my VODs are moved now to the other channel. So, if you're looking for them and not finding them, then that's why they are on my YouTube channel. Lack of item. I am just not getting this before my break. Well, I have one minute. Can we expect this blueprint up there uploaded? I think we can, but it's gonna be after tomorrow because I might sit and tweak it a bit more before I decide to upload it to uh, YouTube. So it'll be as part of my um, my episode tomorrow. I mean, come on, this is simple. Just, just. Do exactly as I did. That should be easy to remember. Then just go in and over and under and there. And then from there on, you just go like that. It's easy. Easy. The funny thing is, like, only have one output. I am going to try this for that one. And then I will see if it works. No, I won't. I won't see if it works. You guys will see if it works. Uh, is there any way that I can see all of it? Uh, this is, I guess, the best we can get. We can do. I'll just take a save. Twenty-five. Ah, oh, that always happens. I have to hit the Windows key to get out. That one and here. Okay, so I'll be back in two minutes. Thank you very much, everyone, for your for joining and being part of it. And just, uh, yeah, also a bit patience because I've been deep in it. So I probably missed a lot of, uh, of, of uh, chat messages. So if you posted something that was important for me, then I missed it. You're welcome to repost it. And then I'll check it when I get back from the break. Be back in two minutes. And welcome back. Let's see. Is it working? Um, <laughs> Please check tower output before 
where purple goes in. Switch them to lower the belt. Switch them to lower the belt. I don't get it. Don't think I get that new today. Move purple input over and bring new output for spray in the tower. Move it over. I don't think I got it. I, I don't think I get it. Purple input, purple input. I guess this is purple input. Over. I guess they are. Uh, hey Yannick, thank you for veteran. the 25 months. Welcome home. Yeah, proliferated right here. Uh Okay, so I, the only thing I can kind of understand that it would be like making it here and then taking this one out and then going up and then going this way, if that was what was meant. Our illustrious champion returns. Spring into the middle instead of crossing everything. Okay, I'm going to go there anyway, so we're basically saying... I don't get it. We have to look at the, the marginal cost. Like from this to this is my cost. That could also be from here to here. But then I'd have to be have a room for a splitter. And there's no room for a splitter here. Move purple over and bring a new spray output from the tower. Then it's on the floor. Yeah, but I don't get why I would want that. I don't. Oh, right. Now I get it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like this. Okay. I I, I agree. Excellent. All right. The funny thing is, like, there are 500 people in chat who clearly understand what it is, and there's one guy who just doesn't get it. Unfortunately, the guy who just doesn't get it is the guy who is supposed to build it. Like, honestly, I'm actually not liking this at all. I'm liking something else more. I'm going to do some something different. Something that's just consistency. Woo. All right, this I think this is going to be wet. Better, much better. So we have a belt that just goes like this all the way out here. I think this is so much more consistent. And then I... That is way better. And then I also need to kill this.
So I think this is better because it's so much more consistent. It's basically like telling the story of this is you go out here and you have a belt going across all the builds and then it just ch ch goes in at one high at the price. That was much better. Hey, Belf, thank you for continuing your gift up. Uh, there is something strange in the belt near the left end after the proliferators. In the belt. Now, see, in the belt, can we be more specific about what belt? And left is kind of difficult when I'm moving around. See, I don't see anything that's weird, so, yeah. But I like this. This is way better. That would take forever to type to you like this idea have one level on the top side or have one line on the top side that branches into this I don't know I don't know I mean I, no matter what you wrote I probably wouldn't get it so I'll uh, I'll concede that point a spree last night and a summer. no wait what uh, this might be amazing. Ah, yeah, yeah. You can stack them. All right, so here's the deal. That is already requested, but nothing is coming in. This one's also requested, but nothing is coming in. So we need to do it. Hey, Rickalum, thank you for the five months and also for the gift subs. Um, <laughs> I think this is good. I think that's all we need to do is now test it. I'm not going to request any of these just yet. Uh, we are going to fly back to the home planet, the previous home planet, back to Gaia Cube. And set up some requesters and stuff. Do we have... I have two of these. Is that enough? It might not be enough. So, you know what? If only we had like a location that just produced like a stupid amount of these. Nicely absurd numbers we have here. There we go. There we go. That's also great. And... And fly away. Do you have enough fuel with me? Yeah, that's fine. Not a problem. I also have fuel back there. Carbon nanotube input to not spray. I think it might have arrived too late to be sure. What? Okay, that's a that's a good point. We'll uh, have to fix that. Really? Are you sure? So carbon nanotube. There are more than one k on the belt. On the belt it may run dry in transit. Hi, I don't think so. Is proliferant just extra feature for those who want to make perfect, efficient, or unnecessary? It's definitely not necessary. It's like, um, if you're familiar with Factorio, it's like um, modules and beacons. You can happily live without them, but when you know that you're missing out on 20% productivity, you really don't want to. Looks like a good place I'm coming in. Coming in hot, right at the plate. Good place, here we go. So this is a requester from the other location. And these are providers, right? Are they providing? Yeah. But this is requesting. So you are actually going to request here. Request remotely. And then provide locally. This is providing. This is providing. Oh yeah, by the way, this is embarrassing. So we need to do something about that. Um, I think I also, okay. Oh, perfect. I can build one here. All good. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. This will be oil and sulfuric acid. I'll go 5k for each. 
power. It's using all the power we have on the planet just to fuel this one. <laughs> just to get it up and running. All right, let's back it down a bit to 60. And I will do requests and requests. That's a not a great amount here. Hmm. That one. That's why. Hold on, that's not how we do things. That's a provider. Providers shouldn't be doing this. Oops. It'll be fine. That one's available. Okay, let's also just back that down to 5k. Back this one down to 5k. Back this one down to 5k. Yeah. And then the last one we miss is over by the science facility. There, there's some Rainbow Road. And that will now be requesting. What is the other one requesting? 2000? Then we request 2000. Demand. That should mean that as soon as we start producing it, we are going to get Mechacore. And we're going to get that one as well. These are the most important ones because then we can start looking outside. And what else is more important? More drones. Warp, make warp. And then under technologies, what is important? There's nothing really super important. Quantum ships. We don't want to do. We don't want to go. Go. We don't want to go there. Eh, that's not really that important. And let's see. Zero. Okay, so it is already flying over there. I guess we. Uh, I guess we leave then. Go to starving. Check the fuel. Fuel's fine. That it doesn't draw more power though. Even twenty-six megawatt is pretty pretty significant. Here we come. Logistics vessels coming back for oil and sulfuric acid. I'm just ah oh man when I'm. I wish that it would be possible to take this game and just make it make it into some overlap with the expanse. Cause this is basically like like Ah oh man, the the whole idea of just like this intergalactic thing, it's of course like pretty late in the series. Like the idea that you can see these and well we're gonna have pirates hopefully at some point. Send out patrol ships. That's an expense program. Oh yeah. Trade union. Uh, spacing guild. The spacing guild. <laughs> like, spacing guild? Isn't that from another sci-fi series? <laughs> I love that. That's such a nice shout out. Like, mm, I'm not married to the name. We could call it the spacing guild. Yeah, we could all, all spacing union, spacing yeah, spacing union. I think that's what it's called. All right, let's have a look. All good, all good, all good. You are getting proliferated stuff in, but you are not getting the other ones. So let's request this here, and request this here as well. All right. So the point was that the inputs for the carbon nanotubes are not proliferated. So this is proliferated. The carbon nanotubes contains two things. It contains this one, the graphene, which is going to be proliferated, and then it's coming to titanium, which is proliferated. So I dare say, I think it is proliferated. It's all proliferated. I'm going to go with the first part here, just make sure that that works properly. Got 2000 here. I, 
I'm a terrible viewer. What? Why? Why are you you're not a terrible viewer? Unless you're 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 blind, then you are a terrible viewer. Alright, proliferate, proliferate, and the output comes out. Of course the whole thing is not built to ratio anymore because well it isn't. <laughs> and here these are coming in slowly but surely. And they go in. Both our inputs are proliferated and they go out here and they will then be proliferated moving forward. So let's see if we can saturate this. We are going to get that one, take that one and get that one and these will be supplied. I'm not going to be supplied locally. I'll only supply it globally or remotely. And this part is not proliferated, but the output is. How can they be belters if there are no belts? You're absolutely right. But then again, they still call themselves belters later on when they're on when they're there's no belt. Um, but you, then that's another thing. Like I definitely want something between planets, space stations, asteroid belts for mining. That, that's just. That'd be cool. That'd be very, very cool. There, we're missing this part. It's getting proliferated in. Yes, please. And output is also going to be proliferated. Yeah. We're getting so much out here. We're actually getting more than we can do here. Hey, Nis, thank you for the 28 months. Just drop by to resub. Going back to change diapers. All right. Well, I, I. Good luck with that. Um, this doesn't seem like completely ideal. I mean, I, I would, I would venture to the guess that this is not exactly what I intended it to be. Well, I did do that one. Well. Uh, Oops. It's not quite fixed yet. Go. Yeah, sushi belts. Yeah, we like them sushi belts. And no, we're still not really happy about this. There we go. That one. And the last one. Looks better. Hmm. And we'll have everything here just over stack. Come on. We can do it. I kind of feel that... What's the problem here? Is this not entirely building? It is building. And... 20% extra product. Okay, so this... We are getting 20% extra product. That means I actually need to build 20% extra here as well. Because I am getting 20%. Additional. How many do we have here? One... How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus twenty percent to twenty. Who the hell knows what that is? That's impossible. It is unknowable. Lack of item. And that's misplaced.
perfect. That's three towers of eight. I could also just make three towers of ten and then just go. That's fine, probably. But I guess you want it like this. Why is there only one proliferation icon on this? That's bad. Well, everything here looks good. Everything here doesn't look anything. <laughs> what a 20% play rise. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, just get 50%. Pfft. I can't be bothered with those small rounding arrows. Yeah. Good evening, Digital Wolf. <laughs> Spear worshippers. I am so happy about this one. This is so cool. I think that the last change on oop, 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 out here was just just made it from being an okay build that serves the purpose to being what I can only say is I feel more of a signature build where I can go like yeah that's that's how it's supposed to go so we got a bit of a design work out of this okay and I am going to take a This will be purple science plus proliferated. Mr. Normally, thank you for the prime for five months. And I'm going to take this one as two to one. No, one to two. No, I can't remember how this is working. One to three. What, two to two? Two to four? It, it doesn't make any sense, this part. Um, yeah, let's do this one. The big one's gonna be purple, and the little one's gonna be the proliferation. There we go. And then I'm gonna save it. Bloop, bloop. There we go. It is here. <laughs> I, um,. I took my, <laughs> my my daughter to the doctor and it was a young doctor and uh, he was just writing a prescription and he was like, okay, and a pres pres prescription. <laughs> it was quite clear that he was just like, he had no idea how he was about to spell it. <laughs> prescription. Or, I mean, of course, equivalent in Danish, but... Um, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Now what? We built Purple Science. Actually, we didn't, but we kind of did. And why is it not working, though? Oh, because it has to get 400. Ah, look at that. Exactly 400. That's what... Really? 400? So 400 is what we were waiting for. 400 comes in here. And that should give us pretty much this one, because it is proliferated. What a damn fine planet. It absolutely is. Absolutely. And thank you. Right. So the next thing I want to do is I actually want to consume the hydrogen. But I think I want to make the hydrogen into hydrogen fuel cells in a bit more structured way. And then just burn it so that we have some non-exchange of power here. Um... Yeah, the whole thing, like, Nilo's TV is not a good place to... Just, hold on. Um, isn't there, isn't there a blueprint? Can someone help me out with my own command, like, blueprints? I have no idea how it works, but I know that there are BP. Thank you, Lone Fells. God damn it. But that's the link. Because my website is still junk. And let's see. I have to take several classes on horrible handwriting. Yeah, but they're not actually horrible handwriting. The funny thing was like, I've always only gone to 
old doctors and they're always like, mm, yes, mm, it's this thing or it's that thing or let's do this or let's take a blood sample. I think they're just confident. This guy was a young doctor and I think there's also a different, like he was quite young. He was like un in training. Maybe Stinosko was here. He could help us, help us out on this. Hey, spawned one. Thank you for the three months. And he was like, huh, let me just Google that. Okay. Yeah. And it, <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> so he was he was googling things and he wasn't like turning the screen so we couldn't see it. No, no, no. He was like, okay, let's, yeah, okay, I, okay, let's just, yeah, okay. <laughs> and he was just looking through it. Yeah, okay, this is the prescription we want. Nope, no point in in hiding it. That's like, it's the same as programmers, right? I programmers can also be super confident and just oh, just code everything by hand, just look gaze into the sky and just just throw some code on the screen or they can google to go to stack overflow and they can go like ah yoink i'm never gonna build a time zone converter because someone else did that Blah. um let's see yeah so okay so the reason why i want to burn the hydrogen and not something else is because I don't have enough power on this planet. This planet is in trouble. I can max out at 360 and I, I can't keep building here and I want to keep building here. So we do need to have some kind of better build. And if we are looking at it, the better build is a bit far off. Uh, that means we need to go here. We need to build the fusion reactor and then we need to build the deuterium fuel rods. That's kind of expensive just to burn things. But then again, at some point we're going to have to do it, right? I think we'll burn some hydrogen fuel like this. Yeah, let's do that. I think that just, it just, this is going to keep accruing and we need to find some way of doing it. So, um, Let's build a small converter to hydrogen fuel cells. Just putting it here so I know where it is. Hmm. I kind of want to use this one because I'm probably going to request it at some point also from from the uh, what are they called gas carrier thingy Woo! mecha core look at that double o mecha double o power yeah so i'm gonna get some hydrogen which initially will not be gotten from here then i'm gonna get some titanium and then i will build some here Yes. It's the most helpful place on the internet. No, really. Programmers, but made some powerful tools for the company with that side. Yep. And took full credit. Ha ha ha. That one is going to retire. I'm remote demanding it. If I'm remote demanding it here, then I don't need to do what I just did in the other place. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then let's build it here instead. No, let's build it here. This is a good place. It's closer to that one. So let's uh, retire the other one when we get there. And then we'll, I'll desperately try to use these as much as I can get away with. There. All right, try again. Oh. Where's my proliferator, though? Hmm. One, two, three, and no proliferation. That sucks. Unless 
I do it here. Okay, then I can maybe just take this one and lead it up here. Yeah, that could happen. The power number, some kind of reality is covering the power numbers. Thank you. Some kind of reality. <laughs> ah, let's see. Build stuff. Yeah, that looks pretty spot on. If I consume six of these, right, then that will consume 10 per second. Yeah. Turn and return. I think that's very, very straightforward. Inbound, 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 outbound, outbound. I have a feeling that this is one of those where by the time I build it, it'll be outdated anyway. Uh, nope, nope, don't send stuff in yet. Hmm. Damn right. I lose to titanium, yes I do, but I'm not worried about my titanium. Exploration, universe exploration. I have 10 million titanium in this uh, cluster, so not a problem at all. Just trimming the lines. Good. And I will build some of these, I'll build some of that, and I'll build... Let's say we want 1,000 of this. I want to request 1,000 here. And I want to request... 2,500. And also... There. Oh, dear. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not proliferated, but it doesn't matter. It'll, it'll be fine. Okay, let's just at least build 2,000 then. Now, how much power is in this one? That means this is 54 megajoules. So if I calculate 54 megajoule times 12 on a, on a belt, and... If used as fuel, more energy can be produced. That means it's going to be eventually 20% more energy. So I mean, this means I have, I have a lot. I'm just gonna build a, a, a big power plant <laughs> with the bad power plant. I know, I know, I know. It's kind of silly to do this, but yeah. Let's see, where do we have room for it? I don't want to take anything good any good places so maybe that's just 
Maybe where we started building before. Yeah, let's do that. It's low quantity that's being transferred. So even if we transport it across the entire planet, then it's still going to be fine. too far. That's the one we want to get rid of. Boop, boop. And let's have a look at the lines. This is a line for sure. So let's build Something like this. The only thing I want to request here is... Titanium. Yeah, this is the one thing I haven't really figured out how to deal with in this location. How do I find things here? There you go. And then we get a power line, this one. How far can we go? We can actually go all the way up there. That's a bit, a bit, a bit much, isn't it? It is. It is. And then I'm going to take this out and build it somewhere else. I don't think I can build it here. That's too close. No, it's not too close. Wow. Doesn't even care. Try again. Construction drones, yes please. I like it placing it on the middle here. I'm not sure that's the smart move. Or if I do, then I should just go like this, I guess, so I have more room. I don't feel very good about this build. Five. Do we even, are we even able to build? Yeah. No. Why is there a difference between these two? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, maybe it does. So how big do we want to build it? I don't know. How big can we build it? Let's try this. This one is consuming... Each one of these is consuming 2.16, but it's only at 80. So this is actually consuming 2.4. So 5 of these times 2.4 is 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 
12. 12 by 12 is 144 power consumed and I can easily do that. There's way more than that. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that this is just going to be something. And now we will find out if there has been a shift in the way that um, exchanges work. Because if I recall correctly, then these exchanges would would still be working at 100%. Uh, I am going to do that, that one. And then switch to demand. And let, let's see if it works. Okay, so let's look at our power right now. Power right now is 100%. They we're consuming 300 and something and a smidge and the question is when i start this up then i get 144 power no less than that 20 that's 120 megawatt of power that's not much those charging towers burn too much yeah well it's not i think the the big ones yes but this it's not so bad it's 90 90 kilowatt it's, it's something. I agree. It's something. All right. Get in here. There they are. Slowly. Surely. All right. I should also restart science, but we'll do that afterwards. When is it necessary to have both discharge and charge exchanges on the same planet? I remember it being important to balance that. Yes, that is... Uh, that's... Right now is the answer. Like we're starting to see this, but why is the discharge going up there? So it's obvious that the generation here is the same size as the consumption is not going, which means that it still matches the generation. No, the discharge is still matching 100% which means that all of this is just going to be extra capacity. So it's still discharging to 100% capacity. And then I've now added 25% of the power. And it, which is completely useless. Because I'm still discharging at the same, spill, same speed. So this is why we have to do the weird blueprint with exchanges to sort of balance it out. That's okay. It's, it's, it's a thing. We can do it. We've done it before. Yeah, so I said about 120. That seems okay. I can keep going with this. Mm. Yeah, what I have to do is make sure that I do not take the other one out first. But I need to build a new one instead of this. This is also a bad place to build it, by the way. I should probably build it... Like nearby. Let's maybe build it over here. Whoosh. Let's see if we can build a balanced exchanger by ourselves and figure out how to do that again. Hydrogen cells proliferated. Yeah, the new ones are, but not the first ones. Okay, let's see. We are going to start here. Let's start doing it this way. I'm going to set this right in the middle because it's going to go two ways. And then once we build it, we can figure out if we uh, want to do it some other way. All right, let's, that's brilliant. That's exactly the one we're looking for. 50, sounds about right. Okay, so the deal here is... This will be doing... Oh, it's over here. That one and that one. That's the only thing. This is how I did it previously. The part I don't like about it, this is that it's going to be hard to get very big builds here. 
like this. Look at that. That's only six. And I really need something bigger than that. I need to build it like... No, that's not even good enough. How can these two be okay? Oh, it's way bigger. Yeah, this is not gonna work. It is gonna work. Of course it's gonna work. Of course it's gonna work. That's not gonna work. Okay. This is a bit more charge than we can manage right now. Then I think we want to... Oh, come on. They are so... They went, they're just hungry for attention. I'm not sure this can be done, by the way. So all of these will be discharging. There, 20 seems like a number. So how would I do this? Uh, empty and full. So here I am discharging. So that if I'm discharging, I take the full ones. Oh, this is just completely impossible to build. So this is good, but if I do this one, it's gonna send the empty ones onwards, which is not what I want. Like the idea that this could then be output and output as well, but you can only daisy chain the in the the. Uh, the empty ones, like the outputs pass through, because it's basically like if you send the wrong one on the input side, it'll just go like, yeah, I can't use it, I'll put it with you. X and Y axis is not an option because I can't really do that. Um, okay, uh, too many ideas. Uh, you're not, you don't know what I'm trying to do. So that's one thing at a time. Unfortunately, you're right. I do want to ex have this as the main input. <sighs> the point here is that it's it has to be done in just a really weird way because I am not taking the return. I think that most of you will expect me to take the return materials and go them back here. That's not intended. The intended is that they will go to this location, which means this one goes through. This is just going through, happy, prioritize the full ones. And you go through here, and then you go over here, and becomes part of the dis of the charging. And only, only if you can't discharge, only if you can't keep pushing it this way, then you're gonna go in and uh, return it. There. This might work.
Can you proliferate full accumulators? I don't know. Uh, as materials spray the proliferator, it'll speed up the production, so that's a no. I mean, that's a no in my book at least. This one will then be charge. <laughs> so difficult. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they can, this can be done, and this at this scale. Because if I want to mirror this one, then I go out here. And then the full ones. The idea is that all of the full ones goes into be discharged. And then all the empty one that generate goes in and becomes charged. And then all of the charged one goes in and primarily goes in to be discharged. So that it just charges and discharges. And only the discrepancy between charge and discharge is going to be is going to be either demanded out of the out of the tower or put back into the tower and i don't think i can build it in this scale It's 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 way more complicated than what you think. This is the part, right? It's not about it has nothing to do with saving belts. This one I know, but it, that's not the issue. It's not the issue. The issue is that I must be able to take all of the empty ones come here, have to be first going in to be filled up, and only when this belt is not filling up fast enough will it go in here and then be sent off to the other planet. Now. On top of that, I also need to make sure that all the full ones primarily go in here. And that's the problem, because how do you take the output of the chargers and put into the discharges here as priority? That means I need to take the output of this one and then primarily try to feed it in here, but alternative feed it in here because we don't know if we're going to be no we do know that we'll never be charging that's at least something right we'll never be charging in this we could be charging in this planet but we're not going to even if we are then it should just yeah Make a circle. It's also like um, I, the thing is like I, it's the part that I can do it in a very simple way, right? This is how I do it in uh, in in my one in my hub build. I get one here and I get one here, and then I take one charger there and one oh one discharger and then one charger on the other side, like. I'm just going to illustrate what happens. This is an empty one. Goes in, becomes charged. Comes out. Returns in here. Or continues there. And then I prioritize that one. And over on this one, I prioritize here. Mm, how did that not work? Charge. That's not it. This one is outbound. That's when it comes out. And then I prioritize there. That's how it works. I prioritize the ones that have been recently charged to go in here. That means as long as this belt is full, 
and then I'm not drawing in anything else. And as long as this one isn't full, then we're going to take the empty ones and put in here. That's the that's the trick here. I'm sure you love these challenges. Yeah, I do. So the, this is the concept. The question for me was like, can I scale it up? Is there a way for me to scale this up in a meaningful way so that I have it maybe like 20 on either side and then single one here? That's the one I use. If you're using batteries as the only source of power, you don't need charges. That's and that's I'm not going to use that. I, I need to be able to uh, to use the other things because otherwise I can only get 360. And I have a beautiful, beautiful uh, gas giant here that's full of uh, deuterium. Nope, fire ice, but still hydrogen we can burn. And I want to do that. Are all the batteries more than a single belt? Uh, no, probably not. We can always just do faster belt then. We have the good belts as well. But I don't want it to be like 100 tiles deep. I want it to be like, ideally, this would be perfect, right? Okay, that's not actually perfect, but you know, like three deep would be good. Two deep would also be fine. I think I could actually do this, right? Because this one could just be, whoops. This is straightforward, and then I could take... Let's get these here and here. I could take this as return, return, and then go through here. Okay, I think I, I think first of all this is definitely not working. But I think maybe maybe I can mimic this one. I'd like to have it on either side here instead. Uh, basically, imagine that this one is here. No. It can't be done. It can't be done like that. It's it's a combinatorial problem of, of lines crossing and... I'm just building this one. So I want to try with three and then see if I can do it. So what happens? This part. What? Why? Oh, okay, they're just using a bit of power. I have an idea. Let's see if it works. Now this can be as long as it wants to. So I'm here I come in with my belt. That's gonna be the excess. This is coming from the charged ones. Now the discharged ones, the empty ones. It comes in here, goes into the side, moves on to the next, moves on to the next, into the side, and then go around. Then it might actually be able to do one more. Huh. Ah, collide. Why are you why are you colliding? Ah. One. 
to... And that should still be possible. Yes, it's possible. Oh, we are out of power. <laughs> Missed the break? Oh shoot, I missed the break. Damn, we're already at a break. Ah man, I didn't I didn't I didn't feel that we got really far here. Oh right, uh science, 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 science. Uh let's get some of these upgrades because upgrades are always nice. Mm, drive engine four, and I can't get that. Logistics carrier, logistics carrier, no more logistics carrier. And also some, that one. Well, that should be enough for two minutes, right? <laughs> there we go. Save. Yeah, I did miss the break. And we want to go out here and look at. This is the most busy location we can come up with. All right, be back in two minutes. Thank you for joining. See you in a bit. All right, welcome back. Thank you for your patience. We got a, an achievement while I wasn't even here. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so Bob, about uh, building it and then without this one, I don't think that's going to help because I think it'll actually just confuse it more than help me if I build it. And then if even if it works, then I still have to deal with the fact that what if it doesn't work? Or like, what if it doesn't quite work for this build? Um, so I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to try, man, this is so difficult to do this part, uh, here, these. That one, that one, go around. Luckily we have blueprints for this now so that even if I build it and I like the build, but it's not exactly centered then I can copy paste it and move on okay so the point here is now that is getting rid of everything then I need to grab all the stuff that is coming in empty which I can just do here that one that one because these can just pass through here and here. This is the only one that's causing problems because it has to go through here. But the other ones, fine. That one. And then one, two, three. That means this is 
I'm going to be the empty uh, full ones. Because they are charging here. Yeah. And then I just need to build the same thing on the other side. And this will be returning. And moving on. What's your own video from last year? Ah, that's too che it's cheating. But also, I want to build it in a different way. I know how to build it. What I need to do is, is build a better design for it that we can use here. Because I know the principle. This is more about can I get the belts to align to what I want. Well, if I could do it this side, I really feel that I should be able to do it on this side as well. Here, I will get... Nope, that's actually not that way. This is going to be the one that supplements full full outbound yeah and that goes in there and then prioritizing the inbounds coming from the charge so that the ones coming from the network will only supplement what is going around in circles that seems very reasonable And that takes care of all the outbounds. Then I need here, uh, sorry, the inbound full charge. And this comes out as the outbound here of the, that goes in. How is this so difficult before the break? Just needed a little break to uh, chillax here. I mean, I did have the idea before the break, but this is why this is yet another reason why I I like having hourly breaks because I'm just I'm getting blind sometimes with these kind of things. I think this works. And it's infinitely scalable. Whew. Yeah. I like it. I think we want to get let this uh, let it rip for a bit and then see how it works. And also we have to do here, and then basically say you are priori uh, prioritizing going that way. It this is so difficult to explain why this works. Um, is it actually powered? Is it part of the same, the whole network? Nothing but the network. A bit doubtful though. Now it, this is connected here and then that's connected. Good. Hey, Guy in the Cube. We have left Guy in the Cube. Thank you for the nine months. Um, I think this is, when it looks at symmetry, this is brilliant. This is perfectly symmetrical. Rotationally symmetrical without having any accidental swastikas. Which is all we ever want from our accidental symmetries here. Uh, yeah, so I'm... I know we built one. Should be easy to find, it's that one. Oh, I've already taken those out. Ooh. Can I get 500 more? Just like kind of, you know. Yeah. Let's have a look at the old one. You have all you need. So you're not actually requesting anything more. So let's hope that I can actually request. There. 50? Come on. It would be so nice. It would be so nice if it worked. Uh damn oh 
But, you know, I'm gonna steal from the other one. It's only our lifeblood that we are uh, we are sacrificing here. Oh yeah, that doesn't work. Oh yeah, it doesn't work if I go to map view. Then I can do this. Alright, let's see what happens. There. It comes out. It starts to be discharged. Its current power is 25... 30. Very good. And the first one is starting to go through. So they are now discharging at a rate of... Who knows what the rate is. They're not... I don't know why they are blue and then orange sometimes. There. And these ones will be charging at 100%. What we're seeing now is that this is just the absurdity of this. But it should work. What we're seeing now is here. We should see that there's slightly movement on this belt. And there is. And that's the now the now I'm only using the difference between one and the other. Now I could and probably should try and just kill this one. At this point, there will large factory. Ooh, total generation of one gigawatt. Nice. All right, let's look at the power and see if I can decipher what this means. So, what we're seeing here is that the consumption is 290, 280, 90, whatever. And the accumulated discharge, which is the discrepancy between the charge slash discharge, is is now exactly matching the consumption. That's not how it's supposed to be. Why is it not doing it? And this is this is not working. Why is it not working? Is the other one still operational? Is that it? It is still operational. So I I am assuming that this is because this is still discharging. But that's the only reason I can see why it's doing this yet. Okay, but it's almost out. I think that when this one runs out of fuel which you will soon, very soon, then we'll see that it it balances. Uh, throttling down on the fly, which means it's balanced. No, not yet. Not until I don't have this, because I need to have a balance between one and the other, I think. I think that, I think that's how it, it has to be. I don't want to take anything from it. Because these ones are just burning all the time, while the other ones will find a balance. And this is not part of the balance loop, so this will just be extra. As long as this extra thing is more than the 125 we get from the uh, thermal power plants, then I don't think it does what it's supposed to. So I'm going to need to wait for this to burn out. Research speed too slow. Yeah, but that's kind of what it is. This one's done. Now these two are the only ones left. I could also have done that. That would have been like way easier. And there. All right, let's let's see if this works now. Now there's some more charging here. Um, let's see. Ah, oh, it works. It works. Yes. There we go. Now you can see that the charge versus discharge means that I'm only doing the discrepancy 
and we're now seeing that our generation here is being burning at 100% and let's see, this should be working at 100% this one. Yay, we're gonna need more drones. 10 more drones, perfect. That's that's a nice amount of drones we got here. Oh, it's so nice when it works. Like, it's such a giant hypothetical monster we built and then when it sort of works then, and these should be working at 100%. Yeah. Conversion rate 80%, That's but the power load is 100% because we're only discharging at the necessary rate. And the great thing about this build is if you want it bigger, it's very easy to make it bigger. Right? Because you can just add another lane on either side. Also, it's quite aesthetic. Oh, I'm so happy. I, it did take a bit of time, but happy, happy. I'm going to make it slightly bigger. One tile bigger here. I actually built the majority of this before even disconnecting the other one. I think that's all of what we needed here. Yeah, and then we do the same thing on the other side here. It's also important that I can't build it here because then they can't be built close. So I have to build it on one of these that are uh, 10 or five big squares wide and then uh, yeah, uh, use the lower squares. What did I just say? Here and here. I think that still works because it, it's the same game and it looks absolutely well organized as you would expect it to do. Huh. Do we want a blueprint of this? Looks very blueprintable. Absolutely. I don't know. Let's get a blueprint. Uh, this is um, balanced exchange, though. Exchanger. I. This is why I love the exchanger. I mean, I think it's a bit silly that we have to do it this way. But now that I have a blueprint for it, then I go like, I. I hope it. It has to be this way. This is the only way because it separates the sheep from from the wolves or whatever. And the exchanger. Balanced exchanger. There we go. Ta da! Is there no energy loss during the charge? Nope, there's not. Or do we keep the loss out of this? Uh, that there's, there's nothing in the laws of thermodynamics that says there must be a loss. The entropy will never decrease. It doesn't say that it must increase. 
Can you proliferate batteries? Yes, but it doesn't do anything. It just produces them faster, which is useless. So, that is another big thing we did here. Yeah, need 400 and 540. That, but that's good, because, hey, that's... I think that's good. Um, yeah, and I've obviously we're not running. So what? 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 What now? Now what? What are we gonna do now? Huh? Put splitters where the belts merge together. No, I I don't like that. I think I I like this better. I like it. I like the way that it is now, because I don't feel that there's need for it. Um, Do the warp machine and warp. Um, yeah. Well, there's a long way until we get there. Anyway, that's annoying. Please don't do that. I know that it's not there. If I, I um, we can do start doing this. So I think that what we need to do is is working away to deuterium because I think that's needed for this one no it's not actually huh yeah it is deuterium here so I guess staggers fractionators might be an interesting little design challenge we should do I don't know how many times people have said ah staggers and fractionators ah and I'm like okay okay get it we'll, we'll get there don't worry this is in a particle collider but the particle collider is requiring those annoying square things Yeah, so I'm, I'm working towards the strange matter because strange matter is the hardest part of getting to that. Oh, no, 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 no. We are actually, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, we are going to have to go cycle a bit back to that one because this and subsequently this is something we only have in very, very small quantities. And if we are starting to need more containers, then we need more green turbines. And we just have a very, very small build of turbines. So I think that it is actually time for us to make a new build of, uh, uh, what are they called? Of uh, motors and then electromagnetic turbines. Let's see. Motors. And turbines take motors in this so i think we build them separate so that we can have both of these proliferated coming in that means we need to build this part hmm. in a proliferated manner mm -hmm. can we build it here i don't think there's a lot of room for it but we'll we'll try we'll try building a small thing and then we might figure out that we need to be bigger all right what do we want we want to make it just requires, this one just requires iron and magnetic coils. And we'll have to do this. Let's get some ratios here. This one is two seconds. I'm thinking having like one line of iron going out and coming back as gears and then on the way back proliferating them before looping in to the build here. Because if we look at this, there are three inputs and one output. That's a bit much to do. That's going to be two on the inside, two on the outside. So. This could be iron part, and this could be outbound part. Then... This will be, let's say, uh, magnetic coils, and then the other way comes the gears, I think. And then here we have And then S 
somewhere. Oh no, that can't even be done. Hmm. Because I can't take the the gears. I can't take them in this way because if I take it that way, then they won't be proliferated correctly. So I'm gonna have to take everything coming in this way here, and then basically. Iron, and then just silly gears going back and then going up in order to go down there and then be proliferated before going in. Yeah. And each of these can feed two of the other ones, which means one, two, three, four, five can feed six of these because of it, I get 20% extra, right? So this produces five per second multiplied by something. No, it's actually, yeah, yeah. I run all my factories stacking input at the far end. Um, and a second level middle belt. My factory stacking input at the end. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think stacking is very good for anything except uh, prolifer uh, except fractionators. But time will tell. I think this is good if I remember to proliferate everything, right? Which includes that one. Please don't give me that. I'm aware that sometimes I don't have enough. I think this is a nice little, let's say, cute build. All right, so how much iron this is taking? This is taking six taking one per second, so it's only taking six. So why am I doubling this belt? Right? I should be having on the outside iron and that one, right? And then on the inbound, I'll have the output plus, yes, 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 much better, much better. Is that inner output? There, this will be the returning and oh no Am I not having lights on? I can't see the difference between having lights on and not having lights on. That's kind of sad. You're proliferating the gears twice. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but you're, you're right. That actually makes it a slightly easier problem, doesn't it? If I don't have to proliferate it here. Good point. I'm going to remove it in a bit when I have these things in order. Five. The returning.
there. And then I need to move the whole thing so that it fits better with that. One, two, three. Maybe I take the whole thing here and move it two tiles up. Like that. Seems reasonable. Come on, go faster drones. And I will have this on the inside and iron on the outside. And this one is the return. Then I'll have magnetic coils on the inside and I'll have iron on the outside. So this is 12 on this belt and this row consumes six and this row consumes one per second. So it's plus five, still within boundaries. Uh, very good for Casimir. Um, okay, why? Why is it? Okay, well, explain to me. I'm not saying no. I'm just, uh, I can understand. Like, for Casimir, the problem is always, like, the belts can't take very many. Uh, um, it's always, like, a belt capacity thing. So, the, the, my, my point is that you can take two outputs and stack them, merge them into one, and you have twice as much capacity on one belt. Super, but is that much different from just having two belts next to each other? I don't feel those are particularly different solutions. I think this might work. If you see problems, you're not peripherying the gears now. There's always something, huh? There's always something. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm... In no, let's actually get always the one furthest away first. That's always like a good practice. Inbound, outbound, inbound, outbound, and over here. In. Yeah, that's better. I think this is a very nice, nice little build. I don't know if it's stupid to have such a small build. It kind of is, right? But on the other hand, this is kind of consuming the whole belt. On the other hand, I could make it twice as big, right? You are consuming... yeah. I feel like I should make it twice as big. And then give this a, its own lane. Yeah. It just... it feels better. Because then everything is about... is balanced around full belts. Does make sense. If I do it this way, then uh, let's see here. Then everything about this will be following. Uh, what can you say? It'll be following belt capacity. 
Like this one, for, if I double, yeah, I'm doubling everything. Double it all! Yes, yes, yes. But that's easy, but, eh, except for this one. <sighs> I just need you somewhere else. You know what, I know where you, I need you. I need you to go right over here. Right here. That is so much where I want you to be. And that one goes up. And supply. Wow, that disappears quickly. <laughs> uh, obviously, it disappears over here quickly. <laughs> oh, we ran out of, of resources. That means I go here. Obviously, and you are also going to supply there and oh no faster we lost a few proliferation steps Go away. Proliferate last time. Yes, absolutely. How are they still building? Are you happy? You seem happy. What I'm not so happy about is this one has to go over here and then up. That's kind of a ugly solution. Can we just say, okay, this is done. Unfortunately, we lose a lot of stuff, but that's just the way of the world. Whoop. Okay, then we do the proliferate on the last here. And then I try to extend it. Outbound and which one's inbound, which one's outbound? This is One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, the same. One, two, three, four, five. And then we trim the belts. Did we not get any power poles in this? Nope, I guess not. See, is that necessary? Probably not. Probably maybe. I like this build. This is very, very dense and does what it's supposed to, I think. I'm going to build this here for consistency and because when I copy it further down, then it's hopefully going to work. All right. Uh, I'm going to take 2,000 of this. I'm going to take 1,000 and I am going to provide 2,000. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. And do I want to... No, I don't. Shh. 
I don't like that I have to leech it from here. But right now... That's what we do. And by right now, I mean probably forever. <sighs> then you can bring the spray out the front of the tower and split it left and right. Yeah, but I can't get it out of the tower no matter how I twist and turn it. So, it's going to have to come in from somewhere else. It's kind of the same for these kind of things, right? I want to do this so that they are coming in at the same place. Oh, this is uh, probably going to need a bit more buffer now. I'll do that one. We do not want them to be lacking. I like the idea of having, like by having this, then we sort of have some consistent lines all the way up where, where they're coming in. So, I don't need to request it everywhere, but I need to request this somewhere and then it branches all the way up. I like that. It's kind of some, yeah, maybe more of a, a lattice work or I guess we just turn it on and see if anything works. I, if it works, I'm pretty happy. To raise your why do not build one product to the max per intup? Uh, because I d that's a really inefficient way of doing it. Because then you have to sort of go, you have to know that what, ex how exactly many um, gears are you going to need? I don't know. I have no idea. But now you need to make sure that if you start demanding more gears, you have enough gears. That means everything has to have extra capacity than the next level. And stuff like gears, I don't care about it. So that's why I don't. These kind of things, like small production things. I'll just build something that I know is way overbuilt and then just stack it in. Every time you build something, it must have more capacity or it have, must have more production than the, cap the consumption of the next thing that consumes it. And the more steps you do, the more fragile it becomes. For example, let's look at this one. How many small inter steps are here involved in order to get there? But they're all working at ratio before proliferation, of course. And this also means that they, if the very basic items coming in, then it will always work. It's not like I'm accidentally going to consume all of the nanotubes for something else because I just put something in that requires nanotubes and therefore my purple science is going to stall. No, it will not stall as long as I have these very basic materials, which I should always have, and these basic materials, which I should always have. So that's, uh, that's the reason why I do it this way. And I'm very happy with it. It's going to be a tough sell to convince me that something else is better. All right, let's have a look. Is stuff moving? It's really hard to see here. All right, the gears are coming in. That's good. Let's check up here if the gears are full belt. They should be a full belt if everything is coming in as proliferated. Looks fancy, and it is. And everything out here is also proliferated. This one is coming out. Uh, okay, I am not liking that. Why are we not able to output anymore? Because of the goddamn proliferation. Oh my god, I forgot that. This is 12 plus 12. Now it's 6 plus 6, that's 12. This is a full belt. And oops, right? I should actually do this part. Because that should be a full belt. And then I need to figure out if I do... Um, if I do 8 per second times 1.2, then it's not enough. So I have to do 9 of these. So I can do that. There. Eh. Told you. That's, that's okay. Okay, I mean... The other option is, was, the other option was better. The other option is taking, moving this whole thing one tile up and then having two outbound belts. Yeah, that's better. God damn it. 
<sighs> I'm gonna build it here. I'm gonna rebuild it. We know how it's gonna be done. And then this time, it'll be with an extra output build. No, 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 no. Stop doing that. That's annoying. And then I'll have return. Then I'll have this. Here's the gears. Come. Gears are coming in here. That's the return belt. I'm going to get another return belt on the other side. I know that sometimes I, in this case as well, uh, spent a lot of time on a really small build. But every time we do that, or I do that, then I'm always really happy with the result. Almost always. I end up with something that I'm just really proud of. That's actually going to be a problem, isn't it? Because you can't get in there. Here's another idea. These two are going to be next to each other and go in. And then that one goes out. It's going to be weird. Feels feels weird. Take this out. This planet is just perpetual darkness. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cease Patani's uh, comments. Uh, da, 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 da. Where do we go? Where do we go? I have. There we go. Feed gears from the other end. Nope can't be done because if I feed it from the other end it doesn't go through the proliferator so yep <sighs> use pilots yet there is nothing here nothing nothing that would be make be easier with pilots and besides that, if I want, if I needed more, then I would rather have a faster build. Nothing here would be easier with pilots. Nothing at all. So the reason why I'm I'm not using it, you have a maximum number of inputs outputs in the logistic tower. Yes, but I'm not anywhere near that. And even if I do, that would not change. Right? If I take twelve belts out, and then pile them into four belts or three belts it's still going to be using the same amount of output belts here if it's on the input side yeah sure i can get a lot of it but how often do you have something that is producing in higher quantity than consuming i can't really think of anything that's producing higher quantity than consuming now that i sort of think about it except for the 20 percent proliferated and if you don't have that that means you have 12 output you're not going to have more than six out and six in because you can't even support that anyway. So, yeah. Okay, let's... Now we do the proliferation thingy. There. Here. At least this is possible to sort of build it through here. Dead. 
then I don't proliferate up top. Eh, that's fine, because I'm doing it there. Alright, this one. Does it really need to be this sort of anxiously close? No, not really. I think we might as well just make it a bit more comfortable for ourselves. There. Um, late game, I think it comes out stacked. Yes, but that's really, really late game. All right. Um, inputs and outputs. You, my friend, is going to be uh, in, in. You are going to be, let's see if I can remember this now. Outbound and then the long inbound, which still isn't a problem. There and there. Got it. And this is now two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's twelve. Oh no! Time's flying. I don't like it. I don't like that I I spent so much time on this. Oh, this is kind of relevant. And the last one. And let's get the power. And then once that's done, we are going to shut down the other one. Let's <clears throat> shut down the other one. Power lines. Um, here. It does exactly get those, but also only exactly. Right, do we see any problems with this build? Because this build, it's cool. I like it, but, hmm. Let's try it. need to shut down the top one and then replace it with the bottom one here all right let's see i really feel like proliferation is tiered from simple to complex so output should also be proliferated huh? did you know that you can fit one way split up between parallel belts parallel fit one-way splitter between parallel belts. What is a one-way splitter? This one? Ah, there we go. That's actually really nice. Nope, I don't think, I don't think I know it, but maybe. I don't use it very much, but it's a good point. Let me think if I can feel what, what would be useful for it. Yeah. Forgot to proliferate the iron for the gears. That's this one. This is very much proliferated. The gears are coming out here, and they get proliferated before going in here. Vertical splitters are good when you need to split any of those belts without disrupting the bus. Yes. Except that you should probably shouldn't be making a bus. But aside from that, yes. So sad that you have to take all of this out. Yeah. Whee! And... 
take this one as well. Use now. Nope. Take that up and use now. There. What are they actually called? Uh, electric motor. Okay. Electric motor plus proliferator. Plus proliferated. Whatever. Consistency. And then it's two four. No, two four. Two four. I guess I'll do the electric motor and then the small one I'll just do the proliferator there and I save the blueprint got that one sweet ah, no, no, no. So they both get started a bit. Purple science with juice. <laughs> New energy exchange accumulator blueprint. And now big green turbine build. Something like that. Yeah. Also did a small build of... Uh, of what is it called? Hydrogen fuel cells. So. I'm pretty happy about this build. <clears throat> I think this is a really neat build. Uh, so how much is it producing? Hmm. 12 plus... No, this is... What? This is 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. That's 24. 28.8. It's something. I don't know if it's a lot or it's not much, but if it's something that is easily replicated and it's something I can put out in this less valuable location because I want to save the middle ones for primarily for um, smelting columns as you can see here as we go out here this is a really cool build actually I think that when we when we when it comes down to it this was the first hour we built this and added all of the inputs here for the proliferation then the second hour was spent on power but primarily on the design of this and then the third hour was spent on this part huh i'm actually i don't feel so bad about the time spent now as it is right now what does two four stand for i don't know <laughs> there are two icons but they it's position in position four uh just how many times have you wished that the no foundation achievement didn't exist so far. Well, after we move to this one, I don't really care. It's it's not a big deal. We are not really uh, hampered a lot by it here. We have a lot of good space over here to build. Uh, do we need to worry about the resources left in the system? I don't think so. Not yet. 10 million, 10 million, 10 million. Stone is down to 16. Uh, silica, silicon ore is, of course, low, but we are also just... Converting, here we have two of these converters running purely on iron. Okay, look at that. We have lots of silicon ore. That's good because the silicon ore is converted here. So, nothing here is, seems like a problem. Oh, uh, still save first. I wonder what the theme is going to be for tomorrow's episode. It's going to be hard to sort of get all of this at once. Yeah. Anyway, this is a beautiful site. By the charges, you forgot to connect a conveyor belt. Are you sure? Hmm. It's not silicone crystal. It's silicon crystals. All right. Anyway, short break. Be back in two minutes. And then we'll be working on the green turbine belt. See you in a bit.
And welcome back. Thank you for your patience. All right, so just uh, dealing with a few of the questions here. Um, Caper Beast. So the way it works is exactly like in Factorio, as also stated. But you can see here there's a bar that progresses. And then we get an extra one. So it's producing at the same normal speed, but we get extra. So in, in effect, it's going to be a faster production speed. Oh, well, that's just fine. Okay, and the other part, so Mark, about the... It wouldn't be bad if the YouTube series lags behind. Yes, you're right. But what I really like about when they don't lag behind is that I can, do, I can build something on stream and then I can improve it in the YouTube episode. If they lag behind, then I have to sort of, then it's a branch that have to be thrown away and then start back in the Twitch save. While if they are leading, then I can basically do the Twitch stream and then I can let the YouTube episode go slightly ahead and just basically end up with a more crisp design and clean some things up. And I and if it lags so far behind, then it's just kind of, no matter what, I have to end at exactly the same spot where that we ended up while if they're not, then I can sort of overlap a bit. And that's kind of, um, it. I prefer it that way, but I can also see that you're, you're perfectly, perfectly correct that at some point I'll have an episode that's gonna be, okay, now we're just gonna build a million something, uh, plain filters, and then that's really hard to sort of argue why that's a super interesting YouTube episode. Let's see, this one has been uh, lagging. I know that that's been a comment uh, this is producing. Doesn't look like anyone is demanding this. So my guess is it's not the purple signs. Which means it's something else. How, how did I, how did I come to that conclusion? There, there. Um, let's get some of. Yeah. Jump. Do we have a sun somewhere? There we go. And then we have sunwards. We have this. Go to the guy in the cube. Go, 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 go. Yellow is up. Yeah, we're going to go back to check the science to figure out what is the problem. It could also be something trivial like um, uh, the blue science is running out of copper or something stupid like that. Ooh, we can actually easily accelerate to 2,000 now because we have more power. So it must be yellow. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. This is where yellow is out. Are there guesses? I could check my production screen. I never checked the production screen and I probably should, but I also feel that this is more interesting, right? We go back, we take a look, and if I found out that it was yellow, I'd have to go back anyway. Place your bets. It's totally red. All right, there's some bets on yellow, some bets on... We should have made a, compet a prediction. Ah, that would have been fun. Boom. All right, let's go. Where is the science build? Where's the science build? Who knows? There. It's the blue. I don't have any iron ore on this planet. <laughs> well, I guess that's that's a thing. Hmm. Yeah, I was feeding it from this one. And I was like, yeah, this is never running out. Demand. But even if I do this, it's still going to be a problem because I only have 53,000 iron left on this planet. Yeah, that's not really that great. I kind of think that we might have an issue here. Might have an issue. But that's also why it's so important for us to get rid of the reliance on electromagnetic turbines. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we are super dead here. Wow. The only thing we have left on this planet. Let's see. We have coal and a bit of copper as well. But that's it. 
stone. Eh. Well, um, I think that I just move the production of blue science over to the other planet. I think that makes more sense. Whoa. gone immediately uh what about the last one well the last one i i just pick up myself then here i'm going to request the blue did anyone assume that it was blue no no one thought it was blue what a plastic purple yellow both depend on plastic yes but this is where the thank you thank you for uh, activating my trap card like this is exactly why I built like this. I have embedded the plastic built inside here. So I can't really run out of plastic for the the organic crystals because it just it's built one to one ratio with where it's being consumed and the same for purple science. It's also built inside the build. So all I need is as long as I have enough oil coming in and I can consume the hydrogen then this is gonna continue working oh it's a perfect place to pave absolutely um, so thank you for actually my trap card oh oil is just okay this oil is horrible is it just not working or what 0 0.1 Ugh. 0 0.4 how much oil do we have left 29 it's still something it's still something all right um you're good you're good you're good everything is good and all right so now we are let's deconstruct our our blue signs oh uh also this is not happening and this one is also not happening oh that is actually happening no, it's not. It doesn't matter. We're not going to be making any more belts at this place. It doesn't matter with the belts. We'll take a few of them. But not being able to make more belts, don't care. It's intended. This this base is just derelict by now. Yeah. You can go in here. And... Still burning through some of this. And all of this here. that cut out no it, does. it works and this will now be demanding but nothing to demand and I will go back to the other planet where we actually have some space and we are building all both of the sub components so it should be easier to build we haven't built anything on Everlist because yeah <laughs> because that's why and I'm, there's no way I can find starving without well I could follow the trail here and juice it anyone ever run out of resources and been unable to leave the home system I'm sure someone has With fractionated build with max stacking from ILS, I got 40 fractionated to produce roughly 160 deuterium per second. That's a lot. If there's a mod for elemental alchemy, what? I, I don't hope there is. I mean, that's just, then just get a cheat engine because there's nothing, you can't argue why you would want, why you would do that. Like anything, anything beyond lithium can't really produce outside of 
Supernovas produce... Where is it? Where's the borderline where... Where lithium is... is Where is it? Iron? Uh, well, iron is pretty abundant, so you don't really have to worry about it. What is the... Yeah. Normal stars can produce up to iron. Okay. Hmm. Anything else is supernova. Yeah. <clears throat> Doesn't really seem like something I think would be a good idea because power is completely trivial in almost all cases in this game. So you would end up just being like, yeah, whatever. I'll just, instead of actually paying attention and looking what I'm doing, I'll just throw some power at it and then solve it. So anyway, um, blue signs, blue signs. That will be a little teeny tiny build here. Oh, I can also take this out. That's lovely. Oops, what is that? Oh, oh, yeah, well, I could take it out, but I probably shouldn't have. But it's already there. Huh. Okay, so I have seriously over... <laughs> over demanded this. That also seems weird. What the hell did I just do? This is remote demanding, and it's definitely not going to come in here because that's already... I don't... Oh, right now I get it. This is a provider. Yes, please provide this on behalf of this system to someone else because this the other places might want it for process of build, for example. Yeah, okay, okay. So something has to be provided out there. This is... That one. Local demand, remote supply. Good stuff. Yeah, okay. No one will ever know what we just did here and uh, the horror that entailed there. That's... Don't like that these two just got disconnected somehow. Oh well, uh, let's see, this part... Build it over here. Hello Floyd, thank you very much. Uh, was that also converting stone to glass? No, that's already some... Stone to glass is already... Uh, that's here. That one, stone to glass. Thank you Floyd for the prime and welcome. This is going to be a microscopic build from here. That's really not a good place to build it. I want to build it up here in this this area because this is a small area and this is just going to be a small, small build. Can I leech something from this? I don't know if I'm allowed to. Here. This is five wide, so I guess the middle is here ish. When it's dark, it's completely dark, black, and when when it's light, it's so, so bright that I can't see a damn thing. All right, so this is going to be the blue cubes and this and that. Love you, builds. Thank you. 
Shouldn't it be a big tower? I guess it should be. I, I guess we can... I just try to not always take the big tower, so I'm always trying the, the small one first. And how fast are we going to produce it? It's going to be. I'm, I I don't know how to build it non boring. There you go. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Let's double it because of, why not? Have you ever found a useful case for sushi belts in DSP? No, I have not. Uh, sushi belts are... Until someone persuades me otherwise, is just a gimmick concept that's kind of... It's kind of fun, but it's not really practical. Can't imagine why you would want it. Aside from just, it's fun to do these kind of challenges. Yeah, I guess that's kind of... Get that. Uh, aren't you spraying the science at the other end? Yes, but it doesn't matter. You can't double spray things, so... All it does is waste the stuff that's stuck in the air. So I'm always just, if I can, then stray it both on the inbounds and outbounds because if it comes in already sprayed, then nothing happens. So that's why. <laughs> what are sushi belts? Raw belts? No, they're not raw belts. Sushi belts are basically, I think that it kind of comes from like uh, running sushi where you just have a lot of different uh, different kinds of sushi running in a belt through the restaurant and that's kind of the same. So it's basically a belt with multiple different items on. And outputting light oil and hydrogen on the same belt, it does not make it a sushi belt, in my opinion. Sushi belt is like, let's put all of our signs on the same belt because then we just have one place to pick it up and then it'll pick up what it needs. And that's just, it's just, a nightmare when it comes to edge cases. That's why I don't like it. Boop. Boop. Hey, we got one. Do you have to set everything up around this? Do so you have to set everything? Yeah, kind of. Does it come from sushi restaurants to put sushi and conveyors? Yes. 
and I don't know if it's a factorial term or it, it predates factorial, but I remember when I started factorial, then there were still some people who thought that was a good idea. So now we're producing four per second. One, two, three, four. And that means it, it should be able to catch up to all the other stuff that have we've been lagging behind here. <clears throat> uh, going to use the traffic monitor. I really should, shouldn't I? I really should. Or the... I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> hmm... I kind of doubt that I actually have the traffic analyzer thing built. This is kind of bad, right? I, I think I built most of the stuff now. There's the stacker. This is mm, artificial suns. Let's just say not really online yet. This one is needing carbon nanotubes, which is also another thing we should be making soon. Soon. That's nice, this is almost out. Oh, we've been all the way around. Huh. I thought that we had one that I didn't do anything with. Maybe not. Maybe I did consume that. Yep. Damn. That's too bad. I think I need to overhaul this at some point because it's it's good and all, but there's a I, I think there was some also someone who said like adding four more on the inside and I was like that actually is not a bad idea. If I had everything How did that turn everything off? It's just the middle ones. Oh, so this is the only one that's powered, and then that powers all the rest. Yeah, that's kind of silly. Um, I guess that's as close as we can build it to where the other parts here. That's actually not a bad idea. See, this is also why it's a good idea for me to have the YouTube episodes to mess around with as well. Because then I can sort of clean up. And if I just want to play some games that just carelessly, then it's always nice to sort of go, oh, I'll just go load up the DSP and just clean up some things there. Right. Um, traffic monitor, traffic monitor. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't really feel it right now. I know it's kind of silly, but... Uh, let's do it. Let's do a few. Come on, item to the center towers and run more belts. For when you also add spray. Yeah, that's the, I think that's the main part is that I am... I'm kind of... Should I be should I be upgrading the central hub without upgrading it to also spray items because there are some really expensive things that I'm not spraying and that's not great. So some iron, some glass, and some of these. Some iron, yep, uh, that's a bit too much. Some glass and some green circuits. And some green circuits are here. Got a few. I don't think I'm gonna build the traffic monitor to be honest. Okay, let's uh, let's start a bit on the design. Hey, it's working again. Let's start just casually make a little design build here. We can we can do that. Okay, 
we are going to make electromagnetic turbines. And now that's going to be really weird because it's just requesting two items in. Huh. That, that feels very weird. Construction. No limits on my blueprints. <clears throat> Every two seconds, it requests two. So that's every second you request one. That means I can take... For example, like this. And then we'll go return. This is kind of... Boring, I guess. <sighs> yeah, it is. Proliferator output is higher. So this is also not going to work. Uh, or at least it's only working with 10. If I consume full belt, I'm going to have a two belts. Right? Yep. Yeah. And then I can't put it on this belt. So all I can do is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. If I did this, This doesn't seem particularly interesting, to be honest. It definitely should be bigger than this. Definitely bigger. Yeah. What if I... get one of each inbound here? No, that's not good. This should be two of the same. And then that and that are also the same. And then that's just the return. And then I need the last belt here. In return in One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is doable, right? It's doable. Hello, Castor. Mm. Anyone know why blueprints don't work on gas giant? Yes, because they assume the one plan. Everything is one. All planets are the same size for blueprinting. Am I right that the starting planet eventually gets drained of resource nodes and you have to go to other planets? Yes, you are absolutely correct. And good evening, Jeff. Uh, if we look at my starter planet at this point, Dyna Cube, there. It has only 50,000 iron ore, a bit of copper, no silicon, no titanium. It didn't have that, but one million stone. It's, it's really, this is running out. I think this is a better build. Let's see this. No, this is weird, isn't it? No, no, no it's the same thing, same amount of lines. Okay. Let's return. Yeah. 
I think this is better, but it's also pretty intense. And then it can only be 10 deep. One, two, three. Nope. No, they're not stacking. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can't do more than 10 because 10 will output 12 and 12 is what I can put on this belt. And then the next question is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, it's not working. It's taking too much space. This is taking too much space because it has to be within here. This is where the next one starts if I'm building it in this area. All right, look. This line. It's coming down here. This, this line is coupled that one and the next line is coupled to that one which means I need to build this within the confines of what we have available and then the question is can that even be done no I have to kill one hmm Can you stack the painting machine? So, what are the effects? Nothing. Use privilege to speed up production. Boo. Like, there's nothing necessary about must have that, but. I can't go any further behind. I don't want to be building on that line. Not that it really matters. I can do it, but I don't want to. And I can't really get fewer outputs out of this. So that's also not an option. Um, I can move, move this like in the best of cases. I could probably move it here. Wait. In and Out and in and out and in. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah, that's because this one has moved. Yeah. But that's just one tile. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <sighs> if you can drop the middle spray, you can move it back. If I can drop the middle spray, middle spray sounds like a, a city in the UK. I don't want to make it too cramped. Like, that's. I mean, like, if you if you take those two out, why would that be? Why would that be better? Oh, yeah, that's that's a good point. That's a good point. Huh. It should be possible, shouldn't it? Yeah, it should be possible. So. That's a that's interesting. No, because I don't have an output for this one now. That will have to be on the back side then. I was thinking that I could do these as inputs, which was all good because they could, they would only need one input then. Need one input here, but then I still need more outputs. Yeah. So no, no, that's, that's not really 
Um, can output run to the right around the far end and then back down the middle? That sounds like something that even if it is possible, it's not going to be possible in my builds. Do not like that kind of thing. It, it, at least it sounds like something I don't like. Let's. The idea here is, if this is the output, then it doesn't need to be proliferated. Well, actually, it does. So, yeah. It was a good idea about. Hey, what if? But at the grand scheme of things, what does it really matter? Does it really matter that it's it's not producing a full belt? I mean, yes, I, ideally I'd like to have a full belt, but this is, let's see, this will be producing or consuming, what are the nine? So it's nine of these, one, two, three, 36 for this build. It's gonna consume 36. Well, the funny thing is, it's already, one of those builds is already over consuming all of this. So I don't really feel that we might really need that, right? Yeah. Let's do it this way. You can start one tile closer, even use the backmost sort of places instead of the closer one. That is not working. So that was a, that was too close. But that can be done for one input, but not for two inputs. That's fine, but that's not fine. So I can't actually get closer than this. If you're already spraying the magnets, uh, you shouldn't need the sprayer for the green motor, right? You're absolutely right, but I don't want to have that guarantee because I might get it somewhere else. And then, then it'll be like, okay, so the magnets are sprayed, but the iron is not sprayed. So I need to spray the iron, but I have to remember that magnets are always coming in sprayed. And then I don't need to spray the outputs so of the green engines or green motors are not sprayed. That means the pink containers have to be sprayed on the inputs. No. Everything, you get to a point and then you spray inputs and spray outputs, done. Move proliferation back for the outer four lines. Exactly what is that going to do? Okay, okay, I can, I can understand that. There. I mean, I, I understand what you want to do, but it's just getting more and more ugly, this part. So let's, I mean, I, I, let's, I'll entertain the madness here for a bit and then I'll actually get something done. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's still too far. Still has to go one further back. These ones could go one further back, but this one cannot. So. They will mark three, and then you just won't have as much. Yeah, that you know what, uh, MDEP, you're you're 
you're really just hitting the nail on the head on this one. This is an intermediate build. The real instant in-game build will be built with better belts. Therefore, it'll be longer. It'll be built with Mark III uh, proliferators. It's There's no reason to go into crazy optimization here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a nice mid-game build that does something and it's happy and everyone's happy and it's all good. But nothing more than that. I even though it wasn't necessarily what you meant or to say, but you were definitely oops reminding me that that's the case. This is a nice build. <laughs> oh no, I got I just thought of something. Like this is all good and fine and stuff, but who says it's gonna be in the middle ones? What if I build it out here? Then it actually takes quite neatly takes two builds, and then I could even easily make it one wider and then say, and this is where I always intended it to be. Yeah. Oh wow, I'm super inconsistent. Should always be facing north and then in the direction of reading. I can see that I've not been doing that down here. That one's okay, this one's not okay. And this one's not okay. Pretend that you, that's smart. Pretend that you're smart. Yeah. Um let's pretend. It's also a better place to build it, I think. Like less bad at least. Anything up here? We can build it up here, but I'm kind of wondering if I should not build in this line. I feel that this line here has to be reserved for something else. But that's long time. Is that aligned I think it is let's go up and build that instead so if asking again why not proliferate each either input or output but not both and be consistent across all builds because that will read if I only do inputs then I have to proliferate stone bricks. And I'm not going to. I am not going to proliferate stone bricks. I have 15 million stone. I'm not going to waste my proliferators on stone bricks. So that more already now than you... By your definition, I must do on the outputs. But again, I am refuse to do it on this one. So, oh, it's uh, that's why. Because it, it forces me to do something that is really bad really unfortunate now i could sort of have a rule that says okay all smelting is non-proliferated so if i use smelting things i have to proliferate on the inbound anything that's more advanced will be and then sort of keep track of saying okay what about prisms is that a raw material i don't know it's kind of simple but not really what about then photon combiners uh, and it's it's just really complicated to do that so that's why when i proliferate i'm going to say i proliferate inputs and outputs because it doesn't cost anything the only thing it costs is if i if i proliferate an output and i use the output into something that doesn't where the proliferation doesn't do anything it's just a it's a it's a principal thing about that's just i i I like my principles and I like having some hard and fast rules that you go, okay, and this is how it's done. Now I kind of don't like the fact that they're so close. <laughs> uh. OK, 
can go over to this line. Mm. Yeah. I do have these kind of principles where I feel I, I do things a specific way and you can easily argue that it's not the most efficient way always, but it's it's also easy to tell the story of why this is why I want to do it, or why this is how I want to do it. I'm gonna do that one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Way better. Definitely not one tile off. Cut. I wanted to build it over here instead. It's a much better place. I think we have faster drones now, so my mistakes are not as costly. Let's see if this one's still one off. Hello, Tegavaro. Uh, good to see you. Uh, let's see. It's good now. Yep. All right, let's see. It makes sense to only proliferate inputs. Then you choose whether you think it's worth it for an item, and also you don't waste the output. Not sure you eventually go. Also consistent, but gives choice per item as well. Yes, I can totally agree with that. Don't like it though. I think that it's... Yeah. Uh, I think that the reason why I chose to do this was then I could easily... I would easily make sure that everything was always done by sort of double proliferating everything. I hadn't decided whether it was input or output, but if you only do inputs, I think that's actually enough. As long as you're consistent and remember it. Do you think that's gonna work? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, this one doesn't even reach. Oh, it does reach that one. Okay, good. <clears throat> and we trim the belts. Request the provider, always consistent because it's the rule. Yep, yep, you're right, you're right. I um, I concede the point. I don't know if I'm going to change it. I might, but... Um, I think that I did decided to do it this way was because I... When I was producing something that is valuable, then I just want to make sure that at this build... I'm gonna proliferate it because I don't know if I'm gonna proliferate it at the other build. And then basically, once you get a bit further in, you get to the point where, yes, this has to be proliferated. Everything has to be so not a problem. It won't be a matter. Um, actually, 
it's because of the of all the builds before the drones because when you have the drones you can always just ah just request a few more inbound but when you do not have the drones then you can't require oh no i don't have any i don't have anything here uh, yeah don't have the drones then it's harder to to be able to do that uh sucks Nineteen? Wow Do I I don't want this one Yes, so back to the point about not having proliferators, because at this point I couldn't get it in there. But here, it's all happy. There, let's get this one built. That gets filled up, and once that's filled up, then we can start requesting things. Apply. And I think I need 2,000 for each. Oops, there is one of these that's now requesting. Yeah, remote supply. Don't want to request this. Don't want to request this either. Actually, I want maybe want to provide it out. Sure. No. Not yet. Okay. Demand. Demand. Ah, drones. Power's looking good. And let's go closer so we can see the things going. Any signs? Oh yeah, the signs indeed. I can run faster. I can get more of that, okay. So it doesn't look like much in the way of upgrades. Technologies. I can't take that. Well, I can, but I'm not allowed to. Eh, don't think it's worth it because we are not going to get that anytime soon anyway. That's not happening, that screen. Quantum printing is in queuing because we are getting quantum chips. And vertical launch. Sure, let's do that as well. That one, we're waiting a bit. Probably next time. Raid transmission? Yeah, I can also do those upgrades. It's just never really... I think I'll do that when I run out of anything else, but only when I completely run out. Oh, speaking of completely run out. Nice. And <laughs> 9,300. Come on. It's right here. You can do it. You can do it. The glorious iron deposits of this world. Oh, look how wonderful it is. It's right next to it, actually. <laughs> that's really nice. I mean, that's intentional. And then I will be requesting here local demand local demand so that will now be available out in the world mech perfect uh, I guess particle containers are not exactly working right now 
But they will work once we start shipping these back to the other planet now. Sort of reversing the flow. But that's okay. When you copy, how can you guarantee your starting point will be the logistics station? Don't know. I like the warpers, but not the warp itself. I think it's two different technologies. No, nope, it's not. Uh, well, yes, it is kind of shooting technologies, but I don't know if it is like that, and I don't want to risk it. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to get some materials here so that we can have some... We'll put some of these in our pocket. Some strange matter and some diamonds put in our pocket then we'll be flying all the way over there maybe and then warping back or maybe i'll just load a save that i have ready where it i'll get this get it within 10 seconds it's kind of cheesy but oh there is one thing we can actually do now we can actually look out here in the neighborhood and see what oh we can see how many oh let's that's good okay this is weird this has two gas giants. Interesting. But that means only two planets as well. That's not much. Okay, two planets. This one has one, two, three planets. Styliform, optical grading. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Oh, that's good here. But that's not something we're allowed to get. This one. Crude oil, Kimberlite. There's only one in. Yeah, this is the closest one. How close is that? Unknown. Uh, this is within. Not a lot of planets, actually. Surprisingly few planets. But, okay, Kimberlite and Sulfuric. Luminosity 1.6, that's pretty good. One, one, two, three, four, that's good. Four is good. We're gonna start naming those. And there's another one of those. Yeah, look for level plans for resources, that's a good point. Level, res level plans have excellent resources, like our own. Right, I think that it's time for us to wrap this one up here. I'm quite happy with our builds today. Let's just recap on what we did. So the first thing we did was do the purple science and then we spent some time on adapting the purple science with all the proliferators at the various steps, which I'm really happy about. And when I look at it, it looks super simple, but it was a bit more complicated than that. Then we built, uh, we know that this is generating an excess amount of hydrogen. So we built a hydrogen plant thing here just to burn through the hydrogen and be happy about that. This is now using the hydrogen fuel cells and it's it's burning happily, merrily along. And then after that, we realized that we probably needed some better exchanger setup and we spent quite a bit of time on designing this, but I am extremely happy about this. Look how big and robust it is and it can be scaled out in as much as we want. This is a really, really cool design. It, it, and again, once we reach the end design, it's super simple, but it took a while to get there. Then after that, we went in and designed these really nice builds for the electric motors, which I really like. And then we finally wrapped up with making the electromagnetic turbines. That's pretty good. House power? Power is excellent now. Thank you for asking. It is excellent. We're using ugh, 400, 500. Uh, that's, that, it's actually not excellent. It's everything except excellent. That's probably something we might want to take a look at at some point in the not too distant future. Because <laughs> right now I am only on my lava planet producing 360 megawatt of power into lava batteries. And if I transport it over here and I look at it, I'm actually consuming pretty close to 360. Yeah, it's fine for this stream, but it might be something we want to take a look at in the next stream. Uh, next stream, there will be about carbon nanotubes, so we can get the fusion power reactors and the deuterium fuel, so we can get that. Maybe some fractionators. That seems like things that are coherent. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's pretty good. 
Ja. <laughs> we'll have brown out later. That's fine. Cool. So that's going to be wrapping up for this stream. If I'm mood, uh, I'm I'm really not in the mood for for raids. I'm just trying not to do the raids. Um, I don't know. I'm just not. I'm just not in a, in a raiding mood. Uh, it just it it always just feels weird for me to uh, to raid. I, I I feel like obligated to stay there, and it's just like I feel like I'm 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 introducing all of you to go. Hey, here's someone at the party now. I'm out, and it just it just feels weird for me. Um, so, so I, I would encourage you to, if you want more Dyson Sphere, find someone else to, uh, to watch. There's tons more. Uh, also, I have my new YouTube, my Factorio YouTube episode for today. That tomorrow will be a Dyson Sphere program episode. And I will be seeing you guys, uh, hopefully there. Thank you very much. Uh, it was, it was super quiet today. In the last three hours, there's been two resubs. Which is absolutely insane. But then everything was in the beginning. Which was also insane. But it's just really weird that in three hours there was two resubs. But then everything happened in the beginning. So everyone's like, alright, let's get this out of the way so we can focus on the game. Cool. Thanks everyone. And uh, super awesome. I will be seeing you guys. Good night. Take care. And stay effective. <laughs>